It's your big day today. Yeah. You guys ready to go see your new space? I know you're gonna love it. And I know June is definitely ready to stop nursing. Oh yeah, and she's gonna be so excited to see her family. And I can't believe this is June's fourth litter. It's her retirement litter. I know. These guys are so cute though. Yeah, will you watch these while I go get the other ones? Sure. Okay, be right back. All right, I got the last three. Nice. Oh, Miss yeah. Orange <laughs> and then Miss Green also. Where you at? Here's Miss Green. <laughs> oh my goodness, super cute. And then our social butterfly, Miss Purple. She always comes and greets me first. Nice. So how's everybody doing out here? Excellent. Yeah, they were kind of like exploring. And then I noticed you put down this mat. Yeah, I just did it because I think it's better for them to just be more comfortable. They're used to a mat in their okay. indoor nursery. And so I felt like for their first time, they would want to have the same feeling on their feet. Oh, that makes sense. And it probably gives them more traction than just our regular floor. Yeah, in a couple of hours even, they're gonna be exploring this nursery and they won't be so timid. Just like Yellow over yeah. here. Oh yeah, Yellow is definitely our curious one. That's cool. <laughs> It's so fun. Look, they're already exploring the toys. Oh, that's fun. Who's that one? That is Mr. Hunter Green. Awesome. Oh, look at that little paw. Hi. <laughs> oh, that is so precious. I think these are just the perfect moments that families are going to love to hear about and see on Saturday at Puppy Picking. Babe, do you mind going to make their dog food? Sure. I knocked that out. Thank right you. Back. Yeah. All right, here comes the food. I made it extra liquidy. Wow, I thought I made that really fast and they're already asleep. I know, it doesn't take much to tucker the mouth though, but I am super excited for them to try this for the first time. And you did a great job making it. Thanks. <laughs> All right, what do you think? We gotta dip their little faces in it and see okay. what they think. Oh, there we go, we, have we got a some fan already. Oh, you're dipping their face in there? It just shows them what's there. Uh -huh. You don't have to like fully immerse them. It's just like the smell of the goat's milk does help draw them over, but I okay. just like giving them a little bit of a reminder like, hey. This is where it's at? Yep. Ah, uh, okay. Come and move them around this way. Look at that. Miss Pink's already super excited. And they, it's so funny to watch them lick the side of the bowl. It, it's like, okay guys, it's in there. <laughs> That's fun. There you go. Ooh, that was a dip. Oh, look at look at uh, Mr. Black. Don't put your paw in there. Oh, we've seen that happen before. Oh, we certainly have. Good job, buddy. Oh, look at they're just like licking off each other's faces. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet. Look at Black is really going to town. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Yellow. Hi, right, and we got a dreamer over here. Miss Orange is dreaming. Oh, making some noises? Yes. Oh. You're so cute. Oh my goodness, they are really, they are really licking it off each other. <laughs> that is fun. All right, I'm gonna scoot you over so we can let Miss Orange try. And then I'll wake up Miss Teal. You wanna put her on your side? Sure. Oh, there we go. Sorry to wake you up from your nap, but I think you'll enjoy I, it. Yeah, I think she'll be, she'll be pleasantly Pleased. Everybody seems to be really enjoying it. Yeah. And then I think people that, or puppies, not people, the puppies that are gonna be more people oriented as of right now, I think are blue and purple and then yellow just loves to explore. So I think she's up in the oh, air. I don't know which one is gonna- put your paw in there. <laughs> That's the second time he's, she's done that. <laughs> she just wants to be all in there. She's excited about the food. But oh. I think that, <laughs> It's almost like they trip and they went in it. But, yes. Um, I think that yellow is, we're just gonna be watching her for the next couple of days to see which one she ends up being. Okay. But this kind of information is exactly what I wanna tell people on Saturday when we do puppy picking. What are you doing, Live Green? Oh and then goodness. blue's starting to kind of get go off of the mat. And so it's neat <sighs> to see them start to get more and more comfortable out here. I didn't think it would happen that fast. Definitely, it only takes a couple of hours for them to really get acclimated to their new setting and they do such a good job. That is great. 
All right, come on, little babies. Oh, goodness. And I love that you have the potty tray surrounding their little bed area. Yeah, I thought the bed would be super comfortable. Plus, look, they're already snuggling in it. I think but it's the, cute. But the, the potty pad, the potty trays, they're in there because then as soon as they wake up and they start to walk to potty, then they go right on there. So it's given me the best chance of them being successful. I love that. Yeah, we got one more. Who's this, Miss Teal? <laughs> Let's go put you in the dog bed. You can snuggle with everybody. All right, guys. I'm gonna go get your other litter mates, Pudge's puppies, and then they will be joining you in the garage nursery. Okay. All right, I got the last two. Awesome. They are really enjoying the food wow. already. Wow, they are already like really into it. Yeah, they have so much energy. They already have started exploring like off the mat, playing. It's been really neat to see. Look at Miss Blue. She already has a toy in her mouth. <laughs> oh, that's fun. These guys are really adventurous. They're exploring a lot. I agree. We only have one now, uh, Mr. Purple, eating. Yep, so which is just, just fine. You keep eating and catch on up. <laughs> yeah, and everybody just seems like they're like exploring and playing. Yeah, they're having a lot of fun. I'm going to get their wobble board. Start their training. Oh, fun. All right. All right, guys. Who's doing all that talking? I think it's Red. Miss, yes, Miss Red, you are such a social butterfly. I love it. But so sweet. Kind of walks up to me, wants to snuggle. Very much. Definitely shows uh, his a lot happiness. Of personality. Yeah, with his voice. <laughs> it's a she, don't forget. You are perfect. Remember, all the boys and all the girls, their swapped colors are traditional colors. Ah, and that's because of Pudge and June, right? That yes. That they can come out and play? Eventually, Pudge and June's puppies will play together, and I didn't want any confusion, so we did all the boys and girls opposite colors. Fine. There you go. Come on. I think you're just being blocked, but good job. All right, yellow, you want to try next? And then who's this over here playing with... Uh... The toy. I want to say it's Hunter Green, but I can't see and everybody's in my lap. But it's one of our darkest ones and I want, and I'm feeling very confident it's that it's Hunter Green. Yep, it's Hunter Green. <laughs> nice. Good job, little girl. All the girls are starting to play with the toys first. That's cool. Oh, yellow got off. I missed it. I, I'm so sorry. Okay, wow, I have a lot of puppies in my lap. You guys are so lovable but I'm gonna put some of you up here so you can work on your uneven surfaces. Come on. Good job, Mr. Orange. Come on. Hey, come on. Miss Tan, come on. There you go, Orange. Yes, good job. Teal's coming to rescue. Tan's like Maya's puppies. She's like, I'm just gonna, I'm content here. I'm just gonna rest. Come on, you can do it. Yay, good job. Who hasn't done it? I know that Mr. Purple needs to do it. And then Blue, I don't remember. So we're gonna do it one more time with you. Who's the one exploring behind you where the this one? yellow bucket is? Oh, Hunter Green. <laughs> wow. She's super mobile. Oh, blue got off, good job, come on purple. Look at him reaching so hard at those old legs. Yay! Yay! They did so well on the wobble board that the next couple of days we'll be really advancing to the cooler room. And then I bet they're gonna be climbing stairs before we know it. I agree, but I think it's gonna be really neat to see the differences between like June and Pudges yeah. because they'll be almost exactly the same age. Eight hours apart, yeah. that's it. All right, I think everybody, almost everybody is tuckered out and they are ready to get settled into their new nursery. And I need to go deep clean their inside nursery. So not exactly sure how I'm gonna get up, but I'm gonna be really gentle and just go for it. 